Well, we can expect the vaccine to become readily available to the public in the coming months, but some Southeast Texans say they'll pass. KFDM's Joy Addison reports what concerns them about the vaccine as the pandemic continues. Texas A&M University's School of Public Health reports 50% of the public being hesitant to take COVID-19 vaccinations. There are a lot of questions that nobody has answered and I feel like they want to ask questions, but then it's a trial thing. So I'm just, I'm not comfortable. While some Southeast Texans say they would take the vaccine. I'll take it um, if it stopped that COVID. Others fear long-term effects and complications similar to those experienced with other vaccines. It could have a negative effect on certain people and possibly make them more subject to catch it or actually could make them ill, uh, you know, more vulnerable to something else out there. I do think the flu vaccine is good. I think it helps people that need it. For me personally, the one and only time I ever got the flu was when I got the flu vaccine. And they feel though healthcare workers are in line to receive the vaccine first, other vulnerable populations should be next. Maybe people that are uh, homeless or stuff, people that, you know, they don't have the access to the medical supplies or the benefits that, you know, that we have and they're more sickly and more likely to get ill. You, you still got the old folks and the young kids with uh, weak immune systems, you know, those are the, the, the main ones they need to be focused on. Pfizer has chosen Texas as one of four states to test distribution of its vaccine, but the company has not said when that will happen. In Beaumont, Joy Addison, KFDM 6 News. And the other states chosen for the Pfizer vaccine include Rhode Island, Tennessee, and New Mexico.